massive mess has been processed and we are now ready to begin the tutorial proper. Hello, here's FESME Tutorials with my first hammer tutorial. And let's start. Source SDK and the hammer editor. Good. In this tutorial I want to show you how to make a simple elevator. Okay, I made something here with a room, an elevator shaft, and a button here, and an elevator with a button and a door. And we want to make him move and open the door. And this is pretty simple, only do the same like me. At first, we want to make a funk button here. At this um, button model here, I made it a prop dynamic with the word model fright elevator button point MDL. Now we go to browse and you type in tools in visible. Use that, double click. You got this brush. Now use the block tool and let's make a button here. Yes, that looks good. Press enter and you got that. Now we want to tie it to an entity. This is pretty simple. Press Ctrl and T together, but at first select this brush, Ctrl T, and you made it an entity. Okay, now type in Funk Door. No, I am sorry, Button. Press Enter, and now you can give it a name. I want to call it open door button oh okay and at sound we want to use mm, bus off okay accept this and the next thing to do, we have this door here, and we want to make it a funk door. So tie it to an entity, control T. Yes. Whoa. No. And now, door. Okay. And now you can give it a name. I want to call it elevator door. Perfect. We parent it later. And now the move direction. Let's take a look. Yes, this looks good. Zero, zero, zero. And the speed to 100. Yes, speed is at 100. Okay, accept. And now we want to make a trigger to close the door later. The trigger will be here. And okay, search browse and type in trigger. Good. Double click and now make a block. Yes, that looks good. And now tie it to an entity, Control T, and we want to make it a trigger multiple. Multiply. Good. And we want. No, we won't give it no name. And yes, 
outputs add and now my output name my output name sorry you want to make it on start touch target entity's name let's search for elevator door via this input close and after a daily in seconds you walk through yes zero is good okay accept and close now we have a trigger to close the door you move through it and the door will close behind you okay now I have an elevator here this is the main elevator I grouped it these are the main parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 parts and now tie it to an entity Whoa. Sorry. and we want to make it a uh, yes we want to make it a funk track train okay this is good and the name is elevator main part good oh what the fuck no good and some more settings max speed to 65 and change angles here you type in known and next yes the flags are very important here flag everything but fixed orientation and use max speed flag everything here accept and now okay now we can parent something we have the elevator main part here so we can parent this door double click on it parent elevator main part okay and you can parent the, the trigger multiple but that's senseless because when you made an exit here and you want to go out the door will close again this is senseless don't do this okay next thing we have this little button here and we want to make it a funk button so tie it to an entity and make it a funk button nice good okay and the name mm, what name let's call it start elevator button okay and parent to the elevator main part good 